about the house, but they didn't destroy anything. And it was okay, we got back in. And, uh, and, and, where was and that? then, what? Where was that? That's Anger. We That's where I grew up in Anger, which is 10 kilometers, no, 10 minutes outside of Paris. 10, you take the guard, you know. I, want, I wanted to go, but it was too short. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go. Next back. time. Yeah, next time. And, You've uh, been back there. Not to Anguin. You haven't. Yeah, yet. we went as kids. We went to Anguin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and we walked down, we were walking oh, down the street care. looking that's for your house. Right. Yeah, yeah. With Oma. Uh, oh, yeah. Gosh, that's a long, long time ago. Was I know, it, but the house was there, remember? Oh, yeah. and, 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 we, and who was that woman that Oma... Oh, Madame Lavier next door. She helped us. You know, we went to... See right, but you're... But Oma ran into... They, they saw each other coming down the street. Right? She saw her come... Remember, she was an older woman. Her legs were very heavy. Yeah, well, she was in a concentration camp, too. Right. And she came walking down the street, and Oma freaked out. Yeah. They saw each other, and they went crazy. I remember she that. How old she was? I was sixth grade. Twelve. Yeah, that was... Yeah. But she had hidden an American uh, pilot. In the next door house? Yeah, and she and that's why they deported her. I forgot the name now. Even Ravensburg or somewhere. And but she came back. You know, she, she, she Did was. Did you know that your house, that the Germans were in your house? Oh yeah, you, yeah, you, you yeah, yeah. Well, they, they were in the house already. Oh, you heard God. from neighbors or something? Well, we when the war started. Now that's completely different. When the war started, we were not French citizens, and we were being German. We were the fifth colon, which means they called it the fifth colon, enemies, enemies of France. You know, because France and England were together. America wasn't in there yet, and uh, so uh, we were the enemy. And the husbands were not the not the families and it was not Jewish not Jewish it's all together mixed uh, the uh, husband they, my father was in Drancy which is a concentration camp in, outside of Paris uh, but it, they didn't kill you a detention of, camp they called it, it did, a detention yeah right yeah. and then uh, well we couldn't visit or any of that and but then uh, my father, then my mother said she wants to know. Mama never, you know, <laughs> she has to find out where my father was. So she thought, well, maybe if we go as a volunteer to a camp, we'll find out where my father was. So, okay. So <laughs> we, uh, she knew where the <coughs> camp was for women, which was in Gurs which is in the Basque Pyrenees, which is on the border of Spain. Mm -hmm. And the, the barracks there were f f during Franco's war, you know, and the mm -hmm. Spaniards came over. And so they were in those before, and before us. And then, so she took, I remember, <laughs> she took the suitcase, and one thing she took with us was a, a, a feather, a down uh, duvet. duvet, a duvet, and uh, and so we boarded the train. She found out how to go. Where, oh, she must have gotten hold. There were a, a lot of other women who went, who were going there. So well, this is now what you're about. I don't know. That well, that the war started uh, in September of thirty nine. Thirty nine. We left Germany the last day of '38, which was late. So we are, but once we got, so we got to the station in Gurs, and then a, a truck picked us up. And when we drove up to the camp, and we started to see the barbed wires, I think that my mother, she didn't say anything, but she must have said, "What in the world am I doing here?" <laughs> but uh, so we were in barracks of 25 people. So you just I mean, you just went to the barracks and said, we'd like to stay here? 
No, we didn't say we like to stay here once. I don't know how my mama, yeah. mama told them uh, she, what she had in mind to do, you know. So, okay, well, you want to go? Go. So that's what you want. I mean, that's crazy. So, uh, so we were there, and Mama right away was made in charge of the bar. She organized everything. She had organized the dancing school for the kids to keep them busy, you know. And so we... So we were on straw. Good thing we had that thing because there was not, it wasn't summer, it wasn't bad. But when it rained, you had mud up to here. You know? So, and you washed outside. So, and it was in the back were uh, caserns, soldiers. And they must have had, just up there, they must have had, I thinking now at that time, I wasn't aware of these things. I was 11 at that time, and or 12. And uh, they, when they, I mean, the women, the young, there were a lot of young women with their children. You know, they undressed because they had to wash, right? Mm. So anyhow, um, so we stayed there for a while, and the food, what you can imagine, a group, uh, four pound bread, for a whole day for 25 people. Oh my goodness. And my mother, um, there were still some shoemakers and bakery who were ba who baked for uh, for the can. And they were Spaniards, you know. and But they were not in the barracks. They were just happened to mm -hmm. still live there. And so my, what my mother did, she were escorted by of course, French soldiers, they were harmless, you know. She went, since she was in charge of the barrack, she, uh, and she got bread and stuff for everybody. 